I'm Lindsay Thomas with the National Deer Association out here looking at some deer woods. And if you look at the scene behind me, you're not gonna see a lot of deer forage or cover. You see a lot of dead leaves and open ground. That's because this forest has sort of matured out. The canopy has locked out most of the sunlight and very little sun is getting through to produce deer forage and cover. Dr. Craig Harper and his researchers have discovered that in a forest like this with two or three percent sunlight reaching the ground, you're making about 120 pounds to the acre of deer forage. But in their experiments, they increased that to 30 percent and measured 750 pounds to the acre of high quality deer forage. They pushed it to 50 percent and got all the way to 1,200 pounds to the acre of high quality deer forage simply by introducing sunlight. Now, how do you do that? You go through a stand like this and you remove trees that aren't needed or that are invasive. So let's talk about a few examples right here where I'm standing. These are sweet gum trees. Sweet gum is native to the Southeast, but they're overabundant and they have no wildlife value. And so killing trees like this, sweet gums, will open up a lot of sunlight in here. But you don't have to just stop with trees that have low value. Any tree can be overabundant. We've got some white oaks in here. Here's a pretty young white oak. The problem is, not too far away, there's a big, beautiful white oak that's actually overcrowded. Craig Harper's research found that by releasing a mature oak like that that's crowded by other trees, you can actually increase its acorn production. This white oak is not needed here, and there are other small seedlings here that crowd that older, more productive white oak. So sometimes even a white oak tree is a tree that's a candidate for removal when you're doing forest stand improvement. So start looking at your deer woods with a different eye and ask yourself, are you seeing enough foraging cover out there or do you just see shade and dead leaves like you see behind me? And if you do, look for some techniques to introduce sunlight. It's called forest stand improvement. You can go through here with a light chainsaw and some herbicides, make a surgical strike on a few trees and start increasing the amount of sunlight in here. We've got more information at deerassociation.com about this technique. There are a lot of questions and a lot of details and we'll be sharing more on here on our YouTube channel, so be sure to hit subscribe to learn more about forest stand improvement, how to hunt deer, deer biology, deer science, and a whole lot more about deer habitat. So thank you for watching, hit subscribe.